Back here now, the New England Air Museum announced the arrival of their newest aircraft. 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe is live in studio with what makes this addition a historic milestone for the museum. Nick Ciara, the iconic aircraft completed its final flight from the 104th Fighter Wing at Barnes Air National Guard Base and landed in Connecticut yesterday. It was amazing. It's such a beautiful aircraft. The mighty F-15C Eagle taking one final flight from the 104th Fighter Wing at Barnes Air National Guard Base and landing at Bradley Air National Guard Base in East Granby, Connecticut. Soon it will arrive to its new home at the New England Air Museum. This iconic aircraft is renowned for its power and reliability, serving as an integral part of U.S. military aviation. It participated in Operation Desert Storm during the Gulf War and achieved air superiority through its victory. As the seventh largest collection of aircrafts in the United States, the New England Air Museum is devoted to telling the region's pivotal role in creating America's aerospace history. Museum officials are excited to bring the F-15 and contemporary veteran stories into the museum with it. Most of our collection talks about World War II, Vietnam, but Desert Storm, these are the young veterans who are coming here with their families and to represent and tell their stories, something we're very excited about. The final flight executed by Colonel Michael Schock Glass, the 104th Operations Group Commander, before its donation to the museum. After landing at Bradley, the F-15C Eagle taxi to the 103rd Airlift Wing for demilitarization, making its final stop before joining the rest of the aircrafts at the museum. Demilitarization of the aircraft involves removing or deactivating all military hardware and classified components so that it is suitable and safe for public exhibition. Once demilitarized, the aircraft will take its place in the museum July 29th, ensuring a preservation of its history, honor, and dominance over decades. The F-15 gives us an opportunity to celebrate human ingenuity plus incredible human heroics. It's an incredible aircraft. It is powered by Pratt & Whitney engines that allows it to do these incredible vertical climbs and extreme maneuverability, but it's also a celebration of the men and women who flew it. This addition to the museum's collection is more than just an acquisition. It is a celebration of American aviation heritage and will serve as a tribute to the brave individuals who choose to fly. The museum plans to feature the F-15C Eagle prominently within its main exhibit hall, providing visitors with detailed insights into its history and role in U.S. and global air defense strategies. The museum is looking forward to hosting a series of events to celebrate the F-15's integration into their collection. Working for you, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.